Okay, I, a week ago, I was doing my usual browsing on YouTube and all that stuff. Until one day, I noticed a one new thing that comes around the internet for a while. You see that? Bowsette. Here, Bowser here, Bowser there. Bowser is everywhere. Yeah, Bowser is everywhere, to be honest. Yeah, Bowser. So, yeah, there's this new thing that happened around the internet since a week ago, and that is known as Bowser. <laughs> I'm trying to get tired of saying that. But now I thought about maybe it's just time to talk about Bowser for a little, for a little bit, because this meme is very, very. Very interesting to talk about, isn't it? I know people already talked about it before, but say I decided to take this down, take a little bit of talk about this whole Bowser thing. So let's get into the detail of history, how this meme become pop, become another one of the most successful popular memes in, in recently. It all began began in nineteen thirteen of twenty eighteen when when Nintendo started releasing their newest up. News Nintendo Direct about some new things that happen in the game, like Luigi's Mansion 3, they're, they're bringing back Final Fantasy, but this time doing a port on Nintendo Switch, and of course, the new characters coming on Smash Bros. known as Isabel from Animal Crossing. Now, I have to say, that new character they pay, Isabel, is the stupid character they choose to play as a new character in the new Smash Bros. I'm dead serious. But then there's one game that, that Nintendo announced that is going to be a new portable for the Switch, and that is. New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. If you, and that means that it's just New Super Mario Bros. for Wii U. You know, for Wii U. U. It's going to be a... They're going to put New Super Mario Bros. U, the game, into Nintendo Switch as a port. Port called Deluxe. And this time... Yeah, so it's basically like New Super Mario Bros. U for the Switch. But honestly, it's just like nothing but a cheap cash grab for the New Super Mario Bros. series. And this, even my brother pointed this out, that this is a point where the new Super Mario Bros. series has gone dead by this point. And I agree. They didn't even bother trying to make this new Super Mario Bros. Switch or anything like that. It'll be a new thing, but no. Why they bother doing new Super Mario Bros. U on the Switch? But I'm getting ahead of myself. Now, remember you always played the classic characters like Mario, Luigi, and the Toads? Well, now you can only play Yellow Toad, and now Toadette is now a new playable character. And then they made the newest invention, newest power-up they have for only for Toadette, and that is the Super Crown. When Toadette touches it, she becomes Peachette, which basically a Toadette can turn into a human, her own form of Peach, which basically just makes Peachette can fly, give her extra jump, and all that stuff. Then some guy on his Twitter account decided to make a comic, fan comic of his own, own of an inspiration on this power-up. It happened. This comic is basically what happens in the end of Super Mario Odyssey. For those who haven't haven't played the game, here's here's I'm gonna go spoil for those who haven't played the game yet. But if you but if you do, do want to know what happened, then it's okay. Okay. What happens is that after Mario completed his Odyssey quest and res rescued Peach from from Bowser's proposal to marriage, Pe Bowser Mario tries to propose to Peach like like he's trying to reveal his love to her. But suddenly Bowser comes in and they all both fight for their love to Peach until Peach rejected them and decided to travel around the world. Luck somehow Bowser finds the super crown, he wears it, and then he becomes Peachette. And then that's and that's how basically Peachette Bowser was born. Born. And after that happens, it was everywhere. And I mean literally everywhere. It's another one of those popular me that keep happening recently. Like, remember last year about the whole It Pennywise dance from It, remake of It? Well, this is a new thing we have for now here in, the, here in the internet. And this is the point where the internet has literally gone insane. Saying, people talked about, talked about Bowser, they're complaining about how this all began. There are several fan arts to it. They Even people keep making analysis, keep theory, keep making videos about it. Like saying, hey, Bowser could be a perfect, well, playable co echo fire for Bowser at Perfect pair of Bowser, Bowser from the news mat for Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Hey, maybe Bowser could be a new character for for the new Mar for any upcoming Mario series, or better yet, they will actually believe that they decided to use this character to believe make us reveal that maybe she actually is Bowser. 
Bowser Jr. in the Koopalings real mother. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. I've, I've seen tons of videos. I've seen tons of videos of from talking about this character. And literally, everybody won't shut the heck up about it. It happens like a week ago, after a few days after Nintendo Direct, and people really do not like the new, newest one. Sorry about that, that's not distracting. But anyway, you might be wondering my thoughts about this meme. It is just so weird. Like, so weird. Like, bizarrely weird. Weird. I never expect something like a stupid port, port, portable game be coming on the Switch, like New Super Mario Bros. U for the Switch, which will be something debatable after this stupid power up, power notice the Super Crown became a thing, and then suddenly people start making idea inspiration of this, having other characters like Bowser wears the Super Crown, and then she totally, he totally, suddenly turned into a female version of Peach if she was a Koopa. Part of the Koopa Kingdom, and then she will be Bowser's new wife, and and then the Koopa Kingdom will finally have a new ruler of, have the new queen of the Koopa Kingdom, and not only that, they even decide to do other characters who decide, decide to form of when they wear the Super Crown, like I'm pretty sure they're gonna do something else, like maybe we could see Mario when he wears the Super Crown, he comes, Marioette, or maybe Daisy becomes, Daisyette. Or something like that. That'll be a perfect inspiration. But here's the thing: that's not only the reason why Bowser. Not only Bowser was famous because of the videos about her, the fan art, the fan art. But I also know that even cos, even girls decide to cosplay as this character. I'm not even joking. I I come across some cosplayers that I know, I know, but I didn't actually meet them. But I always like like seeing their posts on the, on social media. They start, they decided to cosplay as this character. I was like, this is going internet, you've gone way over the line in my opinion. I mean sure, Bowser is the most popular meme you ever shown on the internet, but this is just so silly about it. So But I'm not but this whole video what I'm talking about right now is nothing I have nothing against this meme at all. Like I said, it's just so weird. But not in a bad way, but it's just silly in a good way. Silly in a good way. <clears throat> good way. And I just really hope this meme was just last longer. Because especially for me, if Nintendo actually were were managed to make Bowser as a new character as a new character, actually let become Bowser's new wife and let the be Junior and the Koopalings new mother, then I will die die for real. And I mean do that literally. But I'm pretty sure Nintendo will never accept to having this 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 that that thing I show show you become a new Mario character, but that's all that. But still, I'm just completely utterly really blind, shocked about how this thing become a thing. And so that's the thing, and that's the end of my talk about Bowser. If you guys know, if you got, I'm sure you guys out there know about this meme. If you guys do, do see, do you, let me guys give me give me all of your thoughts about this character in the comments below. Well, I'll see you guys next time.